So tonight we're taking a closer look at what else our law enforcement is doing to help those in a mental health crisis. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office has been so successful at this that local police departments have actually copied their model. News Six's Eric Von Aiken looks at the Behavioral Services Unit to see how it's getting results and protecting our community. Eric, this is our oasis. Keisha Thomas showed me the oasis that she says more and more people need. Every day, Monday through Friday, our clients are allowed to come in and to shower. The Oasis at the Shearing Center in Longwood gives people a place to shower, do their laundry, pick up food, clothing, even furniture, all for free. I'd say about 70% of our clients have had 70? Absolutely some form of engagement with the Sheriff's Office, yes. A lot of people in crisis because of their crisis become isolated from family members, support systems get strained. Sometimes it's something as simple as having access to, if they become displaced, having access to clothing, uh, showers, access to just basic care items. Sergeant Dwayne Harris helped build the relationship with the Sharing Center and partners all across Seminole County, hospitals, churches, rehab clinics, and the health department. 911, what's the address of the emergency? Because the sheriff's office discovered growing numbers of 911 calls go deeper than just an immediate emergency. Last year, 3,300 calls for help. Out of that, we've had about 300 of those individuals who've experienced two or more contacts with law enforcement in crisis through that same year period. So the Seminole County Sheriff's Office Behavioral Services Division, 11 agents, analysts, and detectives like these two follows up on calls from people in crisis to get them out of crisis using those countywide partners like the Sharing Center and get them help to ultimately get them to the point where they don't need to call for help. And what happens within the community if the Sheriff's Office doesn't take care of these folks? Yeah, I think that as a, a de facto a criminal justice organizations and particularly correctional facilities have been the recipient of a lot of people who are on a mental health crisis. Keeping people who suffer from serious uh, mental health conditions out of the criminal justice system to make sure that they get the help and services that they need is so important. People who otherwise might not have gotten any help. At all, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, or the only help that they would have gotten is the jail system. The calls for people in crisis, that has not dropped. But that's not how you quantify success. Absolutely. So as they see us as a resource, um, calls will most likely see an increase. But that's a great sign that we are making a difference and that we are getting an impact. But repeat Baker Acts are tracking much lower this year. So far, only 138, and we just have a few months to go, compared to, again, 300 for all of last year. Sergeant Harris says that is far fewer people needing help. He says that is getting results. At the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, Eric Von Anken getting results, News 6.